So a few weeks ago I was at a party and I wound up doing what I always happen to do when I'm in a group of people, start a nerd fight. Which is weird because I'm pretty sure I was the only nerd there and the person who I was arguing with was a mother of two who I'm sure gets enough of this from her kids at home and didn't need this from a 27 year old who still lives with his parents. Anyway, the topic was something I feel unreasonably passionate about, so I figured I'd present it to you guys and you guys can let me know whether or not I'm crazy. Quite simply, I believe that Neil Patrick Harris is the only person who could play the Barry Allen Flash. Now this is not to say that the current TV Flash, Grant Gustin, is bad as Barry Allen. In fact, what I've seen of the show, he's actually pretty good. And this isn't to say that Ezra Miller is going to be bad as a movie Flash. I'm sure he'll be just fine, even if a bit young. All I'm saying is that, for my money, if I was in charge of casting, Neil Patrick Harris would be the first and only pick for the Barry Allen incarnation of The Flash. So why do I think this? Well, for one thing, he looks like Barry Allen. Kinda. More so than the official actors, I would say. Also, he's already played Barry Allen, and it was awesome! That's right, he was the voice of the Scarlet Speedster in the 2008 animated adaption of Darwin Cook's classic, The New Frontier. Which, if you haven't seen, go make sure you read the book first, because the movie leaves a lot out. But what it leaves in is still pretty good, and it leaves in a great Flash segment. Which, Mr. Harris nails perfectly. The heroics, the humor, the concern, the love for Iris, it's all there. So if he can do well in animation, what's to say he can't do well in live action? Now I know that just because an actor does a voice for a cartoon character, that doesn't mean that he or she will be a good live action analog. Bart Simpson is voiced by a woman, so of course that wouldn't work in live action. Cleveland from Family Guy and the Cleveland Show is voiced by a white guy, so that definitely wouldn't work. But NPH voicing The Flash is one of those rare instances where it does work, so why not exploit that? Now there might be some concern that he's too old for the part, but at the time of this recording, he's only 41. Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be 40 when Doctor Strange comes out. Michael Keaton was 41 back when Batman Returns came out in 92. Hell, Robert Downey Jr. was 43 when the first Iron Man came out, and he's still going. So age really isn't a factor here. Plus, he keeps himself in great shape, so he's got the physique for it, too. Side note, if you're specifically looking for shirtless pictures of Neil Patrick Harris, use incognito mode. Trust me. Also, they haven't really said who Ezra Miller is playing, whether it's Barry Allen or Wally West. If he's going to be playing the Wally West Flash, that's perfect. Cast NPH as Barry Allen in flashbacks and stuff. It'll be no problem. I just don't want an obvious casting choice to go to waste. So Warner Brothers, if you're watching, just cast Neil Patrick Harris. It makes the most sense. I don't think he's on Broadway right now, so he should be free. Just please don't shoehorn in a song to the Flash movie if you cast him. We get it, Hollywood. He can sing. That doesn't mean he has to do it in every single thing he's in. Same goes for Anna Kendrick, for that matter. What do you guys think? Do you agree that Neil Patrick Harris would make a good Barry Allen? Or do you think I'm crazy? If so, who would you cast as The Flash? Any of them. Let me know down below or anywhere on social media. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with your friends. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, so if we hit that, I promise you, more shirtless Neil Patrick Harris picks. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. I started regularly reading comic books in high school. At the time, I was frequenting a shop called Captain Comics in Plainview, New York. They're unfortunately not around anymore, so I can say without hesitation that they kind of sucked. I don't like the idea of the of, of two spin-off Star Wars movies. Well, again, it, it's not going to be just those two. They're going to be others. Like they want. Oh, there's even more. Yeah, they wanted. You know, there's been talks about a Han Solo spin-off. There's been talks mm. about you know. Isn't that this whole movie? 